Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Dean Ali, a.k.a. Don Squally. And in today's video, we got the Ultima on jack stands and a number of other safety devices here because we're doing a little bit of exhaust work today. So for the past three or four months, the flex pipes have been completely blown out on this car and it sounds absolutely crap. Uh, I'm sure it's affecting the gas mileage even though I'm still getting like 600 kilometers a tank but I feel like it could be better um, but what we're gonna do in today's video is uh, install some new flex pipes as well as I figured while I was down there chopping up the exhaust I might as well delete the secondary cat now one thing about this car is right now it has a muffler delete and a Magnaflow resonator and I thought this car was gonna have a little bit more sound to it when I installed that setup but to be honest uh, just really hasn't been fulfilling my needs uh, ever since I got it I always wanted it to be just a little bit louder so today I've got this um, flex pipe slash Y pipe setup I think this is off of either the 3.5 Maxima that we parted out or the SER that we parted out, I'm not even sure. Um, and this is what my flex pipes look like right now. As you can see, uh, the mesh is just completely black from all the exhaust that's been puffing out of it. Sounds absolutely garbage. And then we have the catalytic converter here. So what I think I'm gonna do today is go ahead and make a cut where the cut is on this Y pipe. Uh, well, this, flex pipe set up onto this flange so I can get up and over top of the uh, the frame rail that's there then I'm going to cut the catalytic converter off here and then weld in a straight pipe going back to the Magnaflow uh, muffler there um, and then I think I'm going to do just like a sleeve setup here I'm going to cut these evenly then I'm going to stick a piece of pipe over top uh, that way I can weld all the way around on them um, it's just going to be easier to reach. That's why I'm going to do the sleeve setup. I'll show you guys what I mean. Just a, a piece of pipe that's slightly bigger than this so I can slip it over top of the, uh, the pipe that's coming down from the primary cats. Uh, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. So I'm not going to film too much of the measurements and the process. I just kind of wanted to do a before and after to show you guys what it uh, sounds like, how much more aggressive it sounds with the secondary cat off. Uh, so what I'm going to do is throw in a before clip right now uh, of this car with the muffler delete. Magnaflow resonator and uh, primary cats and secondary cat uh, as well as the uh, the blown out flex pipes here um, so I'm going to throw that clip in, in right now And you guys already know, while well, we got the uh, stock Y pipe and uh, flex pipe set up off, we're going to have to start this thing and see what it sounds like with just straight dumped out after the primary cat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Now I am going to keep the door closed because it's like 1 a.m. Um, so I'm not going to be able to go crazy with the revs. I'm just, I'm just going to give it a couple quick revs there and then uh, we're going to start hacking up the stock exhaust. Like I say, I'm a little nervous. Now I was thinking of just doing a straight pipe straight from here to the back where it's going to connect to the Magnaflow muffler. I still might do that. The only problem is I don't want to have to deal with this, uh, this frame rail, but I think if I come at the right angle, it might miss it anyways. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, get the sleeves on this end, get that into place, and then see where it sits um, and see if I can make that happen. I don't want these to be too low, though. You can see I did have some shields that I welded on to my flex pipes here to help the mesh getting scraped up, so I'm probably going to put those uh, on this setup once I'm done, but I'm gonna quit yammering on. I'm going to uh, put the camera down and get back to you guys once I get somewhere with the uh, the setup that I'm going for here. 
Okay, so this is what I ended up doing. So the only reason that I decided to keep uh, this section that goes up and over, I know it probably would have flowed better if I took this out, but I had everything I needed in order to get this section out to where I wanted it. Uh, this right here is actually an SER resonator, which for those of you SER guys uh, who own them might know, these are actually just hollow pipes. There's nothing in those, so they do absolutely nothing. Uh, so I had that. I decided to put that where the catalytic converter was, looks somewhat catalytic converter-ish. Uh, and then I ended up going uh, to the front here and I just made these slip on. So this will slip on to the cut pipe and that way I'll be able to get this weld from an angle as opposed to have, if I butt, did a butt joint, like what this is, when I get to the top, I'd have to angle the, uh, the gun too far down in order to actually weld that out correctly. Um, so I just have this all tacked up right now. It's now 1.40 in the morning, uh, but I got everything accomplished that I wanted to today. I got pretty much the whole Y-pipe set up, tacked up, and ready to weld. So tomorrow night, I'm going to get back to you guys, uh, fully weld out these welds here all around uh, my joints where I had to like cut and weld. I did another sleeve on that end and then my sleeves on the front here. Uh, I'm going to get those all welded out. Going to get under the car, uh, weld it onto the Altima. And uh, if everything works out, we should have a completely free fix here uh, and also have the car sound a little bit better. So I'm pretty pumped, but I'm going to get inside, wash up, get myself to sleep, and I'm going to get back to you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, so we got everything welded up. Uh, we're not going to get too close on my welds because I'm rolling with a flux core MIG welder here on a 100 foot extension cord. So don't judge too bad. Uh, but I'm going to get under the car now. Basically what's going to happen is the pipe is basically going to slip into each one of these sleeves. And then I'll be able just to weld around it real quick. It'll save me from having to get on that uh, weird angle from the top. But yeah, man, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to get this thing on the car and uh, start welding it out here. And hopefully we can go for a little bit of a rip tonight and uh, see what it sounds like, man. Okay, so we got everything welded up. The car is back on the ground. Now, I did start it up and tested all of my welds. The welds are good, but those flex pipes that I put on there are actually starting to go out. Um, there's a little bit of leakage happening from the back side of them. So I'm a little bit bummed out that I spent, uh, this much time putting on garbage flex pipes. Had I known that I probably would have went out and bought some, uh, but nonetheless, we got the secondary catalytic converter off. So that's good. So when I do go to replace those flex pipes next, uh, I'll already have that secondary catalyte and we'll be good to go. Uh, so I think we're going to jump in the car right now, do a little bit of a cruise, uh, find a nice quiet spot. And um, we'll do another after clip. We'll put the before and after, um, I guess, after we go for a cruise. All right, so just pulling out of the street now. Got the windows down. It is a little bit louder. Not quite as much exhaust leak from that flex pipe. does have a little bit more of that VQ grumble. I still can hear the exhaust leak coming out of the flex pipes, but uh, I know what, but I know the sound that's coming out of the back is probably a lot better, uh, especially missing that secondary cat. So I'm gonna pull out onto the main road here. Overly loud, but it's subtle. Do up these windows real quick. I mean, every time I do exhaust work on this car, I always want it a little louder, but then again, I drive my G35 and I realize that. Well, loud isn't always the greatest, especially when, well, it's the daily, but I, I don't think it sounds that bad, man. So I'm just going to pull over here, um, 
get the camera on the tripod, put in our before clip and then the after clip. I guess we'll do a little comparison to how it sounds here. Okay, so overall, am I happy that I put on garbage flex pipes? No, but um, everything I did was absolutely free and I should be able to sell that cat OEM um, for about a hundred bucks. So either way, I should be making some money out of the deal. Um, and like I say, I'll probably end up buying like an Amazon uh, flex pipe with a Y pipe and doing like a custom Y. man I think we might have also gained a little bit of horsepowers uh, taking off that secondary cat uh, but I think we're gonna put an end to this video as always I'm your boy Dinali AK Don Squally hope you guys are enjoying the uh, Ultima content um, yeah that's pretty much it so as always I'm your boy Dinali AK Don Squally I just want to say thank you guys for watching and we're gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one man Hurry!